Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Next is burr picking. Now what is burr and why do we pick burrs? Okay, first let's try to understand burrs. The burrs are small fluffy fibers. Now have you ever seen when you wear your woolen clothes, sometimes you, you will see that uh, in the wool itself, even though the entire uh, sweater or the entire jacket looks smooth, but still within the wools at certain places you see some fluffy structures, some ball-like structures, very tiny ball-like structures. So they are called burrs. So these burrs are just like just like the rose rose plants. The rose stem has thorns. Similarly, the wool fibers also have burrs. So it's it's like this, not like structures which might be present in the fibers at certain places. See this is how the burrs would look like. So it is like a very magnified image of the burrs. They are just uh, bubble kind of structures on the wool itself. So due to the presence of these burrs, uh, wool get a scratchy surface or a scratchy feel. Now some soft wools have less burrs while some other wools might have more burrs. So it is important that we try to remove as many burrs as possible because if you have a lot of burrs, the wool would lose its soft feeling and that is not nice. So how are the burrs removed? So the burrs are scrubbed and dried again. So at this stage, when you have actually separate different, separated different types of wool, now what do you do? Wherever you see burrs, you repeat the process of scouring there. That is, you repeat the process of washing them. So when you wash them again, you just stretch in them, stretch them, the uh, bubble-like structures and then you dry them again. So this process will actually help in reducing the number of burrs. So burr picking is a very important part of wool processing. Now once this is done, then it's like you are almost towards the end of the entire process because now you are going to dye. So dyeing is like... We, we wear sweaters and jackets of many different colors, right? But that doesn't mean if I wear a green sweater made up of green wool, that doesn't mean that a green ship had to exist. Now, mostly the ship, they are of white or brown or cream in color. So these, so these colors of wool which are obtained, so these wool fibers are then dyed into many different colors so that we can obtain it for multiple colors. So these hair is drawn into fibers. So now is this time when you actually get the wool fibers. So now all the hairs, they will not have burrs, they will not have any dirt, d dust, grease, anything. So now you will, but they are, they were all in a uh, tangled form. So now they are all stretched to form thin fiber like structures. And then they are dyed into many different colors. As you can see here, the woolen fibers have been dyed into red, blue, gray and so many other colors. So that's how it is being dyed so that it can be used for making many colorful woolen wear. And then finally the last step that is rolling into yarn. Now when everything is done, you have already got the woolen fibers. So now is the time when you need to comb them just to make them smooth so that they don't get tangled anywhere and then roll them into yarn like this. So these are called wool yarns. So now if you roll them like this, it becomes easier to handle them. And now I'm sure you would have seen your moms or your grandmoms making sweaters using this wool yarns. So they purchase this wool yarn and then it becomes very easy for them to handle it when they are actually weaving it to form a cloth. So you see here you can see the wool fibers which have been dyed and then they have been dried. Now after dyeing, after you dye them into different colors, they also need to be dried so that the color uh, like stick to them. So here you see the red wool, brown wool, green wool, blue wool and so on. So these are the woolen fibers and they will be then rolled to form yarn like this. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.